Thanks for tuning in. I'm Anna Silver with a look at your top news headlines. An update to a story six on your side brought you last night. Idaho State Police investigated a multi vehicle injury crash west of Caldwell yesterday afternoon. Joseph Bryant was driving a commercial vehicle pulling a fully loaded car hauler eastbound on I-84 when he didn't slow down for stop traffic. His vehicle hit the rear of a flatbed trailer which jackknifed. A chain reaction crash involving nine other vehicles blocked lanes for about seven Seven hours while crews worked to clear the scene, leaving several drivers injured. Boise State students and alumni rallied at the Capitol today in support of the university's diversity and inclusion programs. This after a controversial letter co-signed by 29 Idaho State representatives was sent to Boise State President Dr. Marlene Tromp. The letter called for and suggested the elimination of the school's diversity and inclusion programs. Today, students were appreciative of the support from the community. The amount of people that came out to support, the amount of people that came out to volunteer, it's just absolutely amazing and we really appreciate the support from faculty, students and just people in the community. I also want to stress that the students here have asked to actually continue the dialogue uh, with those lawmakers and that they still want to make sure that they are included in the discussions moving forward. It's a lot different from what we actually saw from those lawmakers who just came out and attacked those programs regardless of what the students have actually asked about and want to see on their campus. Along with student and alumni speakers, several informational booths were showcased, including a voter registration booth. Today wraps up a week of riding, racing, and roping at the Snake River Stampede comes to a close at the Ford Idaho Center. All week, cowboys and cowgirls have had the chance to experience one of the most exciting rodeos in the country. Today was family day at the Idaho Center, where kids got in free and fans young and old got to watch the rodeo stars strut their stuff. I've been coming to rodeo since I was a little kid. I lived right next door to one, so it was like every weekend I got to go in free, you know. So, uh, we, you know, I uh, got the opportunity to come today and just lo love going to the rodeo, man. If you haven't had the chance to make it down to the rodeo this week, it's not too late. The rodeo finals are tonight at 730, where the best of the best are competing for $400,000 in prize money. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And temperatures rising on this sun, rather Saturday uh, after cooler temperatures late in the week and the rise in temperatures will continue as high pressure moves in an area of low pressure that has passed North Idaho now moving into the upper Midwest, cooling things down there. But as it moves out, high pressure will build into our south and that will allow some hot, dry air to move in our direction. It'll last for several days uh, before another system comes in off of the Pacific, cooling us back down around Wednesday. But between now and Wednesday, those temperatures will continue to rise. On Sunday, we'll come very close to triple digits in many valley locations. Monday and Tuesday, we're expecting to hit at least 100 degrees in Boise. Your Sunday afternoon high, 98 degrees. 101 is our forecast high on Monday, 100 degrees on Tuesday. There is a chance of some isolated thunderstorms on these days, which could be a problem because they'll likely be dry lightning storms, which mean they could start new fires. Then we cool down on Wednesday to 90 degrees, warming back up a bit as we move toward next weekend by next Saturday back into the upper 90s. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.